Hi everyone, Matt Dieter here. I want to talk to you today about a common challenge with gimbals and trying to mount your accessories to them. The common setup that you'll see looks a lot like this. The microphone and the video light really don't need to be down here. I'll show you why in just a second. But one of the obvious things that I found is when you go into flashlight mode with any gimbal, look where your microphone and look where your light are pointed. That is not where you want to be, is it? So the other problem that you run into is if you want to go into selfie mode. Now I'm not going to do that right now because in selfie mode, the camera spins around and faces you, but what do you think happens to that wire? It gets wrapped around and I've actually had it pulled right out of the mic. I did it on accident just a few minutes ago when I was practicing for this shoot. Just it's, This happens to be a Ronin S, which I love by the way. I've owned numerous gimbals, but this one has a cool feature. When you put it in flashlight mode, you can actually set it up so that the camera spins on that axis. Well, there's no way you're gonna spin with anything connected to it without wrapping it around the actual gimbal. Now, one of the real challenges comes when you're trying to mount a video light to your gimbal. You're going to mount it typically down on the handle because that's where all your accessories put it. And this is the effect you get. Maybe great for Halloween, not so good for everyday use. Ideally, you want it to be up on the hot shoe or about right here. On the gimbal is even better, and that's what we're going to do today. Now, if you happen to have a Ronin S, I'm going to show you a very quick and simple way to mount a cold shoe to the top of your bracket. The first thing you'll need is a quarter 20 drill and die set. You can get these at most of your big box retailers for about $6. I'll put a link in the comments below on where to find that. Also, you're going to need the wrench that turns the die. It's a square wrench on the inside. It sort of looks like a drill bit chuck, but it's square. If you don't have one of these and you don't feel like buying one, you could probably get away with just turning this with a crescent wrench or the wrench that actually fits. The next thing you're going to need is a cold shoe. You can get these all over Amazon. They're relatively cheap. I think I bought a pack of two for under $10. They almost always come with the screw and the hex key to tighten it down. I happen to like cold shoes that have the stopper at the end. It keeps your accessory from sliding all the way through if you're in a hurry and it lets you know that it's locked in where it should be. This one also happens to be a little longer this direction, so it's going to cover up the Ronin S top bracket very nicely. Now just as a reference point, since gimbals can look kind of confusing when they're collapsed and there's no camera mounted to them, the mounting position for this gimbal is like this. The mounting location for the cold shoe is here. That's the top of the tilt axis point. So that way, when the cold shoe is mounted, right here, Your mic, your video light, whatever accessory you have will always follow the lens. So now what you want to do is take your die, insert it into the wrench, put your cold shoe in place, and then begin to slowly turn and make your thread. Once you're positioned and once you're started, then you can go ahead and just continue making your thread. Now what I discovered when doing this project is I actually didn't even need the drill bit. The top of the Ronin S bracket right here is hollowed out to accept a Ronin bracket that comes up and connects to the hot shoe. So tapping this out and threading it won't harm the ability to use that bracket because you're not disrupting the actual uh, channel that's inside here at all. But because of that channel that's wide open, uh, the, the drill bit literally just went straight in. It, it didn't even bite. Now all you need to do is take your cold shoe, insert the screw, and slowly turn until you find the thread. Take your time with this because you won't have a lot of thread and the last thing you want to do is strip it. So tighten it lightly at first until you get in the position you want. So now that you have your cold shoe mounted in the perfect place, all you need to do is throw on your mic, your video light, or any other accessory and wherever you point your camera and your lens, your accessories follow. Great light, great sound, and oh yeah, one other thing. Now you can actually do selfie mode without wrapping your mic cord around your gimbal. I did this project for less than $15 and in under 15 minutes. I'll put some helpful links down below, and if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you soon.